and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a birthday icon. Typical icon for that is a cake. So let us create that and I'm only going to use basic shapes at first direct angles. Four should be enough. Select it all. And the first option that we need is right here on the object, align and distribute. And I'll align it to the center. And I'll reposition the top one. Maybe that's a good size. Now we'll use the Bezier tool. Left click, go upwards or control when you do, click again. Center it. Hold shift and select the black element below. Then center the top one. Let me increase the stroke width under fill in stroke. Now we need a circle. Hold control when you drag that and go to 45 degree angle. Once again, use the line and distribute function right here. We want to transform it a little bit. But if you just click on these nodes, you don't see the handles. At first, you have to select it, then go to path and object to path. And now if you use the nodes tool, click on a node, you can see the handles and you can drag them inwards. Maybe I'll drag this node a little bit upwards. I'll hold control when I do. So left click on it, hold control, go upwards, then release it. And I'll hold shift when I transform it like this. Maybe that's a little bit too big. I'll hold control when I drag it downwards. Let me give it different colors. I'll put this one below. And I want to give these two elements a black stroke. So I'll shift, click on the color swatch down below. Let me go to stroke style and I increase it to like five millimeters. I select this candle kind of element, control G to group it, and I put it below the black element below it. Then control D to copy it, hold control when you drag it to the left hand side. Select these three candles, use the distribution function, then Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl A to select it all and align it to the center. Once more, we need to put it below in the hierarchy to have it behind the black element below. Select the black element, object to path, and now we'll use the path effects right here. Click on a plus sign, and then use the corners effect. Use the nodes tool, select the top nodes, and this is how we can create rounded corners. We'll do the same for the element below. So again, path, object, path, plus sign for the path effects, corners, use the nodes tool. And one more time for the element at the bottom. Now let me give that different colors. And I also want to give it all a black stroke. Press Ctrl A, hold shift, click on the black color swatch. Go to stroke style under fill and stroke and change the width right here to five millimeters. Now let me use the BZ tool. I simply Left click a couple of times, a little bit of a zigzag line, close the shape. Select the element below, Ctrl D to copy. So I've copied this one, hold shift, click on our new element, so this is what's selected. Then I go to path and use the intersection. 
And now I can give this part a different fill, maybe something reddish. I want to increase the width to 5 once more. And to make it round, I'll just use the notes tool, hover over the line, your cursor changes to this hand icon, and then you can make it round. I'll do the same for the element below. I'm not really happy with the colors, so let me change them a little bit. When I have to ungroup the candles, I'll select them and then I press shift Control g When you've got what you want, press Ctrl A to select it all and Ctrl G to group it. And this is how you can create such a birthday cake icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.